Annexing Pharmaceutical is a global leader in developing therapies based on annexin A5 for diseases such as retinal vein occlusion and cancer. They recently got promising results from phase two study in uh, RVO, and I have with me Anders Hegerstrand, the CEO of the company. Welcome, Anders. Great to meet you. Great to be here. Please tell us uh, what problem are you solving uh, at Annexin? Well, RVO is a disease of the eye. It causes vision loss uh, and even blindness. And, and we are here to try to solve that problem. Uh, patients currently get injections of a drug that reduces some of the consequences of the disease, but doesn't attack the cause of the disease at all. So we are here to make a big difference for these patients and reducing the risk of blindness and alleviating them from repeated injections of a drug into the eye. So how are they going to use uh, your solution? Is it intravenous? Our solution is intravenous. A uh, few uh, injections uh, intravenously uh, over a few, few days, and that will hopefully take away the problem, maybe not totally, but at least it will reduce the need for other types of drugs. And uh, how far have you come? Uh, what is the current status? So we're very happy. We've just, as you said, recently uh, finished a phase two proof of concept type trial in the US with, with 15 patients. Um, and it's, we show good results in terms of safety, which is very, very important at this stage. But we also have what we call signals of effects in these patients where they have reduced swelling of the eye, they have better vision, and they seem to be needing less um, anti-VEGF or the alternative drug in the, in, for the long run. But again, it's, it's an open trial. We don't have a placebo group, so it's not a claim of efficacy. It's a claim of signals of effect in some patients. And that, what are the plans for future? Well, it's partnership. I mean, we're kind of a small company. We're listed on First North, and we're, we're keen to get a global partner that will help us develop NX in, or NXV, as we call the drug candidate, uh, in the long term. And for not only RVO, but also for other diseases such as diabetic retinopathy, and potentially other eye diseases. Having said that, the drug has potential in, also in other diseases, such as in cancer, treat cancer, uh, inflammatory bowel disease, in sickle cell disease. It's a very basic functionality that our, our drug addresses. So the potential is huge. But we start with ophthalmology, eye diseases, and then we have a, an effort also in oncology. And are there any competitors right now in this field? I would say in the f field of eye diseases and NXN A5 uh, biology, uh, we don't have any competition. There's basically one company working in the field of sepsis with, with the same kind of protein. Uh, but otherwise, there's very little competition, not even addressing the target as such. We, we address a, a lipid called phosphatidylserine, and it's very hard to attack that with anything else than this molecule, uh, because an antibody cannot react to a, a lipid, and small molecules mm -hmm. are not really effective in the, interacting with it either. So NXN A5 and our drug NXV is a very unique opportunity. Uh, you talked about the huge market. Mm -hmm. Do you have an estimation? No, well, the, the market currently in retinal vein occlusion, RVO, is driven by the repeated injections of anti-VEGF, and they cost roughly 20,000 kroner or $2,000 if you get the best one. And that has been repeated time and time again. And that drives the market, which is going towards uh, 20 billion US dollars. It's a huge market. And of course, we, if we succeed, we will take away some of the use of those expensive medicines, but we also can take a large share of that of that market. Even if it totally would shrink a little bit, we will take a huge share of the market. So you're not going to replace it completely? We, we don't think we necessarily have to. I think, I think the currently used medicines are maybe more effective uh, in reducing the swelling rapidly, mm -hmm. but you have to repeat it over and over again because the root cause of the problem comes back over and over again. So when the drug is gone from the eye, you have to take another, another injection to the eye. But we change the fundamental vascular physiology of the eye in these patients, we hope. And my last question, why uh, is this a good business case for investment? Well, I think it, we, we just reached an inflection point, which is which is obviously the phase two A data. We have huge, big plans for the future. We're seeking a partner, hopefully, that will alleviate the shareholders from, from investing over and over again. Uh, but again, we have such, such a promise. The, the, the molecule as such has now been shown to be safe, and now I would say that the sky is the limit. That sounds great. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you for coming. Thank you.